Hello everyone, Xenism here, new welcome on the grid. to a new episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. What? Valdi, my pal. Anyone ever tell you you're a bit of an oddball? Uh, hmm, I don't know. If you say so, though. Yeah, I hope we find out if of all these, like, A young kid, because he, he were, because to me Ever is sounds like a young, a youngish boy. That noise! I think there's a Levinus nearby. I'd recognise that engine sound anywhere. It's an Equites. <laughs> ah, there! I want the parts from that big guy. Which big guy? The Kavesi... Wait, the damage to the leg here. I fixed this not long ago. It was from another colony. Ah! This horrible... <sighs> Valdi, okay. I get it. This is how my Levnesses have been treated. Sorry to rush you, mate, but we don't have time to be standing around. Huh? What's happening? Well, we are outlaws, so... They've marked us all as a target. What? Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's get this over with. Go. Oh, I'm the one you want. Yeah. But also, I was going to say, Valdi sounds like a young boy or a teen woman. Teen teen We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. I'll whack him good! Oh, enemies! Oh my god. Oh, okay, good. What is this place? It's just where I stored some of the junk I've picked up. Can't keep it all at the colony. You know how it is. I see. So you're recycling the parts as you deem necessary? Yeah. The supplies from the castle just aren't gonna cut it. We have a lot of very particular mechanics, and a lot of requests from the pilots to boot. We even get commissioned to repair the Levnesses from other colonies. Seems like awful much effort for not much reward. Not true. We're having a blast with it. Our Nopon are all highly skilled, and our lieutenant has a good head on his shoulders. So... Uh, remind me. What was it we were trying to do again? Picking up parts. Oh, yeah, right. Well, for the body, I'd need... Ah! Something like this. Yeah. That fits the bill. Is this guy really cut out to be a commander? He's a skilled mechanic for sure, but I imagine he gives his aides quite the headache.
Well, it seems we're heading to where the supply drop is. Leaveness wreckage? That's how a battle always feels after. Just sad. Yeah, pretty tragic. Makes me want to fix them all right back up. Look here, you. Listen, I had this injury once. It really did a number on me, physically and mentally. That's what my Master Pond told me. Wait, Master Pond? Oh, it's Nopon for a really great person. So, anyway. My master pond told me this. Be a friend to all and an enemy of none. Be a friend to all? Yeah. I guess after that, seeing Wreck Levenesses got me thinking about stuff. A little elbow grease, and I could just get them back on their feet. My pals here wouldn't want me to give up on them either. <laughs> You're very sweet. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's just that, as a mechanic, you can't start getting moody just because something's broken. Not all wars are fought on the battlefield, right? That gauntlet. Baldi built it myself? This? My Master Pond gave this to me to celebrate my recovery. Caught your eye, has it? You want to see more? No. No special interest. Come on, don't be shy now. Riku is not shy. What I'm getting from all this is that you really like this master pawn of yours, huh? Yeah. He was really harsh on me sometimes. But he was ten times the mechanic I could ever be. If compared master pawn and Riku, who is most excellent? Hmm. Good question. I think that your friend here has a keen eye. You know, I would love to get to speak with him. Secrets of Riku are closely guarded. You don't say. I can't wait. Friend even listening to Riku? A little elbow grease, huh? I think I get how Valdi feels. A job for you, Lancy. Leave the muscle to me. Nice. That should do us. Could be risky to work on it here. How about that place we were at earlier? Thanks, guys. Looks like all the parts are accounted for. This is enough to build Levness. What wrong, Valdi? Spirits seem middling to low. <sighs> I thought that with a Levness, I'd be able to protect my friends. That no one would have to get hurt. But just building them and fixing them up isn't going to make life rosy again. My pals just do as they're ordered. They go out, they fight, and they hurt people. And I'm the one responsible. If you're gonna blame someone for causing all those casualties, blame me. Valdi is doing perfectly normal job of mechanic. Issue of orders, not your fault. But... This doesn't sit right with you, does it? So make something new. Why do you always have to make stuff for fighting? Why not try a different tap? A different tack. 
Like a Levness, but not equipped for combat. Obviously, I don't know the nitty gritty, but I'm sure it's not totally off the table, right? This ain't the time to give up, right? <gasps> yeah. Lance, you couldn't be more right. I shouldn't be led by the whims of others when I make my sweet little mecca. Thanks, Lance, and all of you. I'll be back in a jiffy. It's done. Wow, that fast, huh? It's looking a little on the small side, no? Is that how you wanted it? Yeah. He wouldn't last long in a real battle, but he can follow simple commands. Right now, his only directive is to take care of me. But that's just fine. He's a good guy. Right then. Guess our job here is done. So. Yeah, don't worry. I can get back home just fine on my own. Oh, Gammon Blast. And I came all this way. <gasps> A console. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Ouroboros. Ah, fear not. I have no interest in stirring the pot. I was simply curious as to why our dear Valdi hadn't returned. You promised us you would build the ultimate Levnis, did you not? How much longer do you expect us to wait? Ah, you active dogs! How I shall delight in crushing you beneath my boot. About that. Actually, I've decided to... How many times must I say it? Games are for winning. That's what matters. Consider, if we were to lose the initiative, we would be the ones trampled beneath their boots. Yes, but... <sighs> Valdi, my boy. Who was it that said he'd be fine? So long as he could tinker away with Levnisses. Because I clearly remember those words. If you've got time to be flapping those lips, you've got time to be working those hands. Should you fail in your duty, I won't be held accountable for what happens to your friends in the colony. Snuff you, asshole! The more that comes out of your gob, the more I want to smack. Understood. I'm heading back. Valdi! Don't worry. I've made up my mind. Ultimate Levness, he said. I'm a little worried now. It's unlikely to bode well for us. Ideally, we'd want to prevent it being deployed in battle. Oh yeah, there's that too. But I was more worried about how Valdi feels. He said he'd made up his mind. Doesn't sound like he's going to be finishing his ultimate anything for me. More like he wants to destroy it. Huh? It's going off on its own. It following Valdi, adhering to directive of protect. Noah. Yeah, we're following it. We got new folks on the map. Some relationships changed. Well, this is a big thing.
Tyrkin. Come on, like this. Hurry up. They're on us. All the oh my god. Just shut up. You've been spotted. <laughs> I love these games. God. Can they just not do this? Or make an item that just make sure that these guys can't do this? Fuck off. I apologize. But God. I don't want to fight because I feel like I'm going to be over level. So leave me. Okay, so this went forward. Thank goodness. Guys, get ready to fight! Seriously, stop this. This is why... <sighs> really? The Levis is back, he back here? Come on, move. So I don't get caught. Stupid robot, move. So I don't want to do too much training, because otherwise I'm going to be over leveled. And I don't really like that. Give it a good once over. Not to worry, just stick to the plan. <sighs> Seriously? These. Why is everything. Almost everything aggressive? Because these bugs would not be aggressive in other games. They would be bloody passive. Screw off. Screw off. Heat. This. This is the bad thing about having NPCs you have to follow that have this. But just don't just go. It would make more sense for them to. Like, Volley's Machine isn't one of us to protect him. It's got its directive to protect him. Those paths just happen to align, but that doesn't mean I mean, it wants us to follow, so it should be just doing whatever the hell it wants. Really? Oh, what can good? Oh. Seriously, stop. Finally, we're almost at the colony. I think that's the colony, colony anyway. Flame clock's active. Destroying a colony's flame clock will liberate them from the council's graph. Doing so will deeply deepen your affinity with the consciences from your booth. You've 
wasted time. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up the pace. Because if you can't, well, you know the stakes. The game will soon resume. We have precious little time. If I do as I'm told, you'll... you'll end up hurting so many people. Don't worry. I refuse to put you through that. The next time we meet, I'll make you into the best Levinus there ever was. So that's the game we're playing, is it now? <gasps> you little upstart! This is a case of falling in with the wrong crowd, isn't it? I'm very disappointed. It's about halfway to the projected schedule, but this will have to do. What are you going to do? I will have it achieve its intended purpose. But, first of all, I believe you need a little discipline. <laughs> chose to be a mechanic. Not this. Not for something as sad as this. Why should you care about a hunk of metal? <laughs> if you oppose me, I'll do away with you. Full stop. Quit your yapping and let's get scrapping.
Back in action with the door.
I can't see. Console needs no crutch to lean on. I'm 
sorry. I, I couldn't do anything. I wouldn't say that. At the very least, this little guy got to live the way you wanted him to. Well, I sure hope so. Thanks for rescuing me. Next time, I'll be sure to give you a tougher body, Mecha friend. Mecha friend? Gotta have a name, right? This little guy isn't meant for battle. He's a fellow companion and a friend. So yeah, thanks guys. I'm not gonna focus my efforts just on repairing Levinus's anymore. I'll be working hard to figure out the best way to protect us all, in the truest sense. Oh, but uh, I guess that'd mean doing something about all our flame clocks, huh? About that, we could always smash Colony 30's flame clock. It'd mean that everyone in the colony wouldn't have to fight anymore. The Levinus's too. You can do that? We can. I can't guarantee that things will go smoothly for you after, though. I wouldn't say things are going particularly great as they stand anyway. If I can make a difference for people, and not just Levinus's... Let's do it. Let's make this happen. Here we go! some valuable materials lying around. Nothing worth bothering about, believe me. How are you feeling? It's got a sting, right? It was a big deal for you. Lance, you seem more stung than me. Come on, man. No. I'm fine. I mean, sure. It's a big change of perspective. But like I said before, I'd already made up my mind. True that. <laughs> hey, um, could I help you guys with your mission, in return? It'd be the least I could do. Valdi realized what Valdi's saying. I've never been more sure. For sure! Thank you. We appreciate it. Looking forward to it. <laughs> me too. Count me in. So that's Colony 30's Clean Club. We've passed up now too. Yeah, we'll keep this up. I bet you, I bet you, the consoles are going to get real up in arms. We'll be lucky if that all, if all, if that's all that happens. What do you mean? You think we might not be the only ones in the, their firing line? Is that it? If the consoles see escape from the flame clock's dominion as an act of rebellion. And the soldiers from the Liberated Colonies might ju be in just as much danger as us. No, it looks like we can't just smash their clocks and leave them to it. We can defend them all, I'm sure. With the power of Uroboros on our side, there's nothing we can't do. Yeah, no, see. There's only six of us. Can't be everywhere at once, right? Well, but even if we can't protect everyone at all times, we can certainly at least help them out in various ways. Oh, like we did at Colony 4? We may have a, a long road ahead of us, but in a very real sense, so do they. I think it's important that we work together to forge bonds of trust and cooperation. Yes, well, that's all well and good, but I can hardly imagine them opening their hearts and souls to us that, that easily. Makes sense though, surely? Anyone bloody will climb up if you try to come on try and run. If come on too hard. Maybe the smartest way to go keep an ear to the grapevine and make sure sure to talk with folks and keep up with the gossip. 
That way, we might be able to hear any troubles they may have, or whatever, and discover things. But we can with. I like Uni's plan. It's simple and direct. Well then, no time for the present. Let's go and find people to talk to at the colony. Class. Support you. Got it. War medic. Arts. Heal bullet. Multi blast. Cure bullet. Vital bullet. Maximum voltage. on the map. Hey, can I get a hand here? Don't fail me now. on the map. Sounds pretty serious. We've got what we needed. All right, time to head back. We got new folks on the map. I think that's pretty much all relevant news we can find. 
seeds plums are far more prevalent than we anticipated. Tell me about it. So, what's your next step? I think we could do a lot of good here by helping out, but ultimately, our de destination is so much. That's important too. You're right. She can think from... She can fear things from all angles before we act. can fight on empty batteries. Big friendly friend. Hey, we gotta talk. Quest, where the heart is. Definitely doing that one. Been meaning to talk to you guys. And so another quest. Wish upon the clover. Oh yeah, we were gonna talk about that thing. Hey, listen to this, will ya? Actually, just get another event. Full experience. Okay. Let's bounce. Hate waiting. Hi, Alert. New topic. Okay. Supply drops. Interesting. Ruska. No Ruska flower, just Ruska. There's the Ferronis. Go 
got you. Well coordinated. But ineffective. Hey, it's you. Oh no. Ugh. Fuck's sake! Zeon! You lose yourself to emotion. Some special forces you are. You shut your trap! What a joke! You consider me the joke, do you? Really now? Hey, isn't he? Yeah. He's our friend. From Colony 9. That's where you're wrong. You're traitors. You're no friends of mine. Zeon, just listen! We don't want to... Drop it, Yuni. Negotiation doesn't appear to be on the table. Mimi. <sighs> Arrest the turncoats! Attack time. All right. Brave assault. Come oh, you're behind. Oh. I can follow that up. You're down. Reactivation. Oh, well, I've got in mind. Leave it to uni. Are you right? Coming right up. Come in. I'm with you. I'll stop you from going. Overkill. Siren way.
overkill by so much damage. Back in action. What's wrong? Enemy attack! Agni of forces! Wonder what's going on. <sighs> Commander? Yes. I'm thinking. Hey, what did you just say? Zeon's the commander now. Does that mean the old one? There was a change of command. Someone had to take the fall for the traitors. 
They even dropped our colony rank. We've been so pressed for food, we had to venture out this far. All because of you. Wow. Crap. Go back! We'll take care of things here. I can't allow that. Just get going already! The Agnian Battalion. They're using terrain to cover their approach, am I right? How do you know that? I'm well aware that you don't trust me, I'm just speaking aloud here. We'll intercept the enemy troops, engage them while they're still advancing. They won't get their hands on the colony. You retreat and shore up your defenses. What are you really after here? Why is it you're fighting? We're both in very different positions now. But that doesn't have to mean everything's changed between us. Oh, well done. A voice of reason. Come off it. Wait. Change of plans. We're bringing them back to the colony. What? Why? You're handing them into the consul. No. I'm integrating them into our force as the Vanguard. We're fighting with them. Mwamba died because of them. We're up against a whole battalion. Hardly the time for us to be picky. It's also possible that Ouroboros have instigated this attack themselves. Ugh, you can't be serious. You know exactly how serious I am. Fire and sparks. Hold up. Let's do as he says. What? Why should we? Just play along. We'll be better able to help protect Colony 9 if we're part of the plan. Lands? <laughs> if you say so. You have good friends. One day I'm gonna crack that thick bonce of yours and really see what makes you tick. I look forward to it. You lot head back and update Kite on the situation. I'll see to these ones. Meet me in command. As you say. <sighs> You said not everything's changed between us. Your words no longer have merit. So let's judge where your allegiance lies by way of your actions. I understand. We won't let you down. Zion is temporary. Join the parade. First, before I forget. Watch our own way! Interesting. 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 Yeah, I don't like those skills. Everything else is fine. That's interesting. But, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, we will continue this quest. Xenoza, signing out. Can't even skip travel to it. An ether channel.